In 1915, Morris Helsberg opened a little jewelry store in Kansas City. His goal was to run a business that could support his family. But little did he know, he was actually starting something much more. A legacy of community service, customer appreciation, and corporate responsibility that would become a benchmark for an entire industry. The youngest of five siblings, Barnett Helsberg took over the family store at the age of 14, after his father had a devastating stroke. Barnett's innate business sense and savvy marketing style helped grow the business from one small store to multiple stores in the Midwest. He then decided to place the focus on diamonds as the ultimate symbol of true love and stability. During the Great Depression, Barnett's innovative ideas and willingness to take risks provided a much needed economic and morale boost to the entire community. Hellsbergs didn't just advertise on the radio, they sponsored programs, such as the Hellsberg Sweetheart Hour, to provide uplifting entertainment to listeners. Barnett Hellsberg always made the interests of his stores and the interests of the community one and the same. And when his son, Barnett Jr., took the reins in 1963, that philosophy continued. When Barnett Jr. proposed to the love of his life, Shirley Bush, he was inspired to create an ad featuring a button that said simply, I am loved. The I am loved button became an international phenomenon. The buttons were featured on billboards and newspaper ads. They were given away at Hellsberg stores, taken to hospitals to share with sick children, and sent to servicemen in Vietnam. The buttons were even translated into different languages. Hellsberg Diamonds has given away more than 65 million I Am Loved buttons. Barnett Jr. had not simply created a great ad campaign, but he and his team had literally spread love and goodwill around the world. Hellsberg Diamonds grew into one of the largest jewelry chains in the country, and in 1995, a chance meeting between Barnett and business magnate and philanthropist Warren Buffett set the course for the next chapter of Hellsberg Diamonds. Now under the leadership of Beryl Raff, Hellsberg Diamonds continues building on its century-old legacy of corporate responsibility. The company established Hellsberg Helps in 2012 to lead fundraising efforts and organize volunteer activities to benefit children and families in need. For more than a hundred years, love of family, love of community, and love of diamonds has shaped Hellsbergs into a corporate legacy of philanthropy and has proven once again that doing good is good for business.